I'm taking a look here at this little PCB here, which I have removed from the bottom half of a Savvy's Workshop lightsaber hilt. It would normally go right here, and that ribbon cable would normally connect into that ribbon cable connector there. Uh, this little gray piece uh, might be familiar to you. This is the bottom part of the kyber crystal chamber that you put your kyber crystals into. A little coil of copper wire there. That acts as the RFID antenna to read the RFID chip that's in your kyber crystal. And the ribbon cable and the wires from the coil go down to this board here, which contains the microcontroller and all the logic for your, your lightsaber. And then this is these are the connectors for the battery and speaker that are in the, the battery pack. Now this little PCB here, despite being small, has a couple of really interesting things on it. So the first thing to take a quick look at is this little yellow or white square in the middle here. That's an RGB LED. That is what lights up your kyber crystal uh, from below when you plug it into the Savvy's Workshop lightsaber hilt. You got a three resistors off to the side here. Uh, one for each LED that's in that package there, a red, a green, and a blue LED. Uh, just to limit the current, they essentially control the brightness of those LEDs. And then over here you have another resistor and this transistor that work together to invert the signal coming out of this chip here that's soldered off to the side. This chip is probably the most interesting thing here. It is a Hall effect sensor. What a Hall effect sensor does is it detects the presence of a magnetic field and then it converts that into a digital signal, you know, a, a low or a zero if uh, there's no magnetic field present and a high signal uh, if there is a magnetic field present. Um, and the switch on your uh, lightsaber has a magnet in it. So when you turn your lightsaber on, what's happening is the magnet that's in the switch is being moved into the presence of, uh, or into range of this uh, Hall effect sensor that, so that it can detect it. That then sends a signal down to the microcontroller through that ribbon cable, and the microcontroller will turn on, or try to uh, turn on your uh, lightsaber. Can this be repurposed if you wanted to use it for... I don't know, if you wanted to put custom, uh, some kind of custom board into a, a Savvy's Workshop lightsaber. I don't know if you could fit a custom board in here. It's kind of, it's kind of tight. The space requirements are like, I think it's like 25 millimeters by like 20 millimeters or something like that. It, it, it is not, there's not a lot of space in here. But if you have a board that is small enough to fit, could you repurpose this PCB here uh, to act as the switch to turn your custom module on and off? And to sort of show you how you could do that, I've hooked this up. I have a couple of wires here, the red, and, uh, the white, and the black. Those go off to the benchtop power supply here and are sending 5 volts to this board. The gray wire has a uh, is the signal coming out of that transistor which again is inverting the signal coming out of the uh, Hall effect sensor and I'm going to hook that up to this multimeter so I'm going to put power to that board now we see the multimeter currently showing zero volts or a low signal now I've got a tiny magnet here I'm going to bring that within range of the Hall effect sensor and there you go. You now have a high signal and if I remove it, a low signal. So yes, you could absolutely repurpose this to act as an on or off switch uh, for your custom lightsaber module, whatever that is. The connections that I'm using here again are we have two test pads here marked V plus and V minus, that's your positive voltage and your negative voltage. Uh, these Hall effect sensor chips are usually good for up to like 20 volts, so if you're, as long as your, your battery, your power isn't anything near that, you should be fine. 3 volts, 5 volts, those are typical and that'll be fine. 
and then for the, uh, the the signal to detect whether or not to turn the lightsaber on or off, you can attach a wire to this test pad here, which again takes the output from that transistor. Or, if you don't need to invert the signal, you can actually solder a wire directly here to where it says out. Either way, that is how you would hook that up this little PCB up to a custom module uh, to control your highly modified at that point lightsaber. Now is there room in there for one of those custom boards? That I kind of doubt but I'll let you figure that out.